so let's dive right in what is microsoft loop cool question as a this is a topic question as a beginner scale or maybe the intermediate level person always ask what is microsoft loop now you already have completed this particular entire series course so i believe you must be aware about the what is microsoft loop if in case no then don't worry here is the answer microsoft loop is a transformative co-creation experience that brings together teams contain various tools and, and devices which means that at one place you can collaborate effectively with other stakeholders cool it combines a powerful and flexible canvas with portable components that move freely and stay in a sync across a all application which means the same right you already completed this particular course so you know it already cool so let's move to the next question what are loop components great so again here is the answer loop components are a portable piece of content such as a list tables notes etc now if you could remember right we'll go to the go back to the our training section where we have added a slash over in the loop component right when we add a slash that time we get this options if you recall it correctly yeah so this is it and then here we have additional information you can collaborate the latest information in your preferred apps like microsoft teams outlook word whiteboard and the loop app now let me just move ahead with the third question how do i use loop in component. microsoft teams so here is the answer you can send loop components in microsoft teams chats by clicking a plus icon selecting the relevant component type yeah customize the component and share it with your team how can i edit a loop components in a whiteboard and this is the most top first i would say rather fifth or maybe fourth question this is the top first question i would say uh, majority folks ask even on search engine if you could search right for the microsoft loop you will get this keyword how can i edit my loop component when i paste it already on a whiteboard yeah so this is the answer for this open the whiteboard app add the loop component to your canvas and make the necessary changes the updates will sync across a all connected apps and devices accordingly what about using a loop components in outlook you can do that right in outlook as well you can easily insert a loop now i'll show you how it works in outlook you can enhance your emails and meetings with the help of loop components create a new email or meeting invitation simply just click on the plus icon insert and the relevant component collaborate it with others it's a very simple task folks okay if in case you are facing any kind of a challenge while doing that feel free to comment in below section i'm happy to address those for you guys can i use loop components in word for the web yes in word for the web you can insert loop components directly into your documents what you need to do for that simply open your word document click where you want to insert a loop component and select it with available options how do i get started with microsoft loop it's a very simple uh, ask but majority time people don't know they forget right they completed the training and they forget that you know, because practice is needed right they forget that which is the url for that so url is this what you need to do just visit the url first loop.microsoft.com okay and then sign in with your personal account or maybe your work account whatever account you are operating with and then simply just select the template from the loop and just work accordingly is external sharing supported in microsoft loop external sharing means if in case you are working with the respective company suppose you are working with the discover talent and there are external guest as well okay my clients are there right so are you able to share it so answer is given over here external sharing for guest or external users is not supported during this preview cool so remember that 
are there any known issues with Microsoft? Yes, there are a few known issues. Microsoft is actively working to identify and fix them. Again, the source of information is Bing Copilot for us. And basis that we got this information that yes, there are some known issues. However, there are multiple forums for Microsoft available. You can reach out to them and they will help you out. Where can I find more help and support for Microsoft Loop? This is what we were explaining in the previous question, right? Visit the Microsoft Answers community for the Microsoft Loop related questions, right? And you will get a questions answer then and there. If in case you don't want to rely on the other third party answer, right? You can definitely reach out to the technical support team for Microsoft and they are proactive enough, you know, and immediately they will give you the reply with amazing solution. I have faced the challenges uh, uh, previously and I got Microsoft support teams and it is amazing. Yeah. Once again, thank you all for watching this video and taking this time to learn more about Microsoft Loop how it can enhance your team works and team productivity. So before we wrap up, I would like to share some exciting news for you guys, okay? We have posted four comprehensive courses designed and deepened for your understanding and skills in a various areas, right? So this is the courses which we have available on Udemy. Again, it's published by Discover Talent only, so you can enroll yourself on Udemy and get the upskilling for yourself. Cool? Once again, thanks for your valuable time and supporting us.